the attempt to weaponize the term genocide against Israel in the present context does more than tell the court a grossly distorted story. And it does more than empty the word of its unique force and special meaning. It subverts the object and purpose of the convention itself with ramifications for all states seeking to defend themselves against those who demonstrate total disdain for life and for the law. If there is a concern about the obligations of states under the Genocide Convention, then it is in relation to their responsibilities to act against Hamas's proudly declared agenda of annihilation, which is not a secret and is not in doubt. The annihilationist language of Hamas's charter is repeated regularly by its leaders with the goal, in the words of one member of Hamas's political bureau, of the cleansing of Palestine of the filth of the Jews. Given that on October 7th, before any military response by Israel, South Africa issued an official statement blaming Israel for, quote, the recent conflagration, essentially blaming Israel for the murder of its own citizens. One wonders whether the applicant agrees. The court is told of over 23,000 casualties as the applicant repeats, as many have, unverified statistics provided by Hamas itself, hardly a reliable source. Every civilian casualty in this conflict is a human tragedy that demands our compassion. But the court is not told how many thousands of casualties are in fact militants, how many were killed by Hamas fire, how many were civilians taking direct part in hostilities, and just how many are the result of legitimate and proportionate use of force against military targets, even if tragic. It is plainly inconceivable, under the terms set by this very court, that a state conducting itself in this way, in these circumstances, may be said to be engaged in genocide, not even prima facie. The key component of genocide, the intention to destroy a people in whole or in part, is totally lacking. What Israel seeks by operating in Gaza is not to destroy a people, but to protect a people, its people, who are under attack on multiple fronts, and to do so in accordance with the law, even as it faces a heartless enemy determined to use that very commitment against it. Today we have heard um, Israel's purported justification before the ICJ. Some of the points made are astonishing and are not backed by facts and the situation on the ground. Israel suggests that the Genocide Convention is primary for their protection and because of that is not capable of violating its own provisions. The State of Israel today has failed to disprove South Africa's compelling case that was presented before the court yesterday. We stand by the facts, the law, and the, all the evidence we have submitted yesterday. And we believe and stand very confident that those facts, the law, still are in violation of the Genocide Convention. No matter what some individual within the group of Palestine in Gaza may have done, and no matter how great the threat to Israel's citizen might be, genocidal attacks on the whole of Gaza and the whole of its population with the intent of destroying them cannot be justified at all. We, re we remain confident that um, we have presented a compelling case forensically detailed by our lawyers and um, the state of Israel has, uh, has dismally failed um, today except to say that certain words were rhetoric and uh, certain uh, actions can be, can be minimized by the fact that they've allowed humanitarian aid. We all know there was, no, there was no such. The organs of the UN have stated as such. And it's not South Africa saying this, no, anyone. The UN says they can't provide humanitarian aid because of the ongoing uh, uh, bombings. So we remain confident that the court 
has a, com a, a compelling effects from South Africa and the law is on our side. This is not revenge from South Africa against um, Israel. We are standing on a principle that um, any apartheid state anywhere in the world has been declared as a crime against humanity. So it will never be allowed to happen anywhere and that is a UN uh, convention. So we are here to, to protect the rights of the people of Palestine in Gaza.